all right people thank you so much for clicking if you're new here thank you so much for coming if you're returning you know you are laughed you were celebrated you're appreciated and today we're going to talk about this thing that i think a lot of us are shying away from a lot of us are overlooking and a lot of us are like we do not want to put our minds to it the fear that they have for us when i say they you know who i'm talking about the fear that they have for us and it's because of that fear that a lot of things are happening it is because of that fear that we are treated the way we are treated because they know that if we get to the level they are <laughs> it needs to be something else now listen to this woman i i was so immersed when she was talking i was so happy and a lot of things i picked up from her message a lot of things i got to understand more about my african reality and uh, uh, me being awakened as african as i am there's a lot of things i learned listen to her and be right back you say that all whites are racist can you ex expound on that any any white person who was born raised and schooled in the united states of america if you aren't a racist you're a miracle Either that or you decided to educate yourself. Because education in this country is about white is right, brown's all right, black's got to stand back. Yellow's mellow, but whites, we, we educate in a way that says that white males have done all the adventures, have made all the adventures, have done all the discovering, have made all, and everything that is good and has been accomplished has been accomplished according to social studies, which is actually anti-social studies, by white males. It's a lie. But we do that in order to maintain the myth of white superiority. The myth of race has to be maintained at all costs in this country. Because if white people have to give up the color of their skin as being something that makes them perfect, what do they have left? If we start teaching the truth about history, if we start teaching about Nile Valley contributions to civilization, it will totally change the way we conduct ourselves in the classroom. It will have to. Columbus didn't discover America. You can't discover a place where people are already living, but we celebrate that every October. It's a lie. We need to get over. We we need to stop telling the myths and start telling the truth. Most people will say, "I'm not racist." I'm not a racist. Why? Some of my best friends are black. Yeah, and then you say, "Name one." <laughs> or this one. I don't see color. And when some woman says to me, "I don't see color," I say, "I knew that. If you saw color, you wouldn't dye your hair that way." Or I say, if you didn't, if you saw color, you wouldn't wear that shirt with those pants. I believe that you don't see color. It's an attempt to deny skin color, and it's attempt an attempt to deny what's wrong with seeing the color of my skin. Is it all right for you to see me kind of pink? That's okay for me. I don't mind, and I suspect that you don't mind being seen the color you are. You have a right to be what you are, and until people in this country and people in this world get it into their heads that the first modern human beings that evolved on this earth were black women. They evolved in sub-Saharan Africa about 280,000 years ago. And every human being on the face of the earth today runs the me has the memory of those black women's genetic structure in their genes. Now, we don't want to admit that, but that's the way it is. And people, as people moved farther and farther from the equator, their bodies produced less and less melanin, so their hair, their skin, and their eyes got lighter. As they moved into the east, they ate a lot of fish and a lot of vegetables, so their skin took on a different tone. I found, I found that out when I was raising little kids. My husband worked in a supermarket. He, had, he was head of the produce department. And they had lots of oranges that they couldn't sell, so he'd bring them home. And I was feeding my kids orange juice like you never saw in your life. They began to have an orange cast to their skin. I thought they had something, a liver problem. So I took her to the doctor, and she said, what are you feeding these kids? I said, well, lots of orange juice. She said, stop it if you want them to stop being orange. Now, if you think that skin color isn't anything other than the body's natural reaction to the natural environment, get over it. If all white people are racist, according to you, can they be reprogrammed? Of course they can. Of course they can. Of How? course they can be. You, it's called education. I'm an educator. The word educator comes from the root duck deuce, which means lead. 
the prefix e, which means out, the suffix ate, which means the act of, and the suffix or, which means one who does. An educator is one who is engaged in the act of leading people out of ignorance. Now, I know you can change them. My, the, second, the second year I did the blue-eyed, brown-eyed exercise in my classroom, it was filmed by the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. They gave me a copy of that film. I showed it to my father. My father was about 59 years old at the time. He's been a farmer all his life. He raised six, he raised six, seven, six kids, lost one, raised seven, raised six. Watch that film as a 59-year-old man. When it was over, he stood up and with tears in his eyes, he took his red handkerchief out of the back pocket of his overalls, his bib overalls, and said, I wish somebody had taught me that when I was nine years old. Do you know black is the essence of humanity? And that is why they fear. They fear the black. Because we are the essence of life. We are the reality of the human life. Which everybody are aware of. And it is the fear, the reason why the fear keep increasing is because they know this is who they are. And the reason why they are getting so upset whenever, however they see us, is because they have despised us so much, they have rejected us so much, they have said a lot of things, they have discriminated against us. And it, it, it happens that this is who they are at the end of it all. This is all who we are. And that is why the fear is there. They do not want to bring themselves to accept the fact that what they dislike so much is what they are. They know the truth. And the lie is being taught to them. So they live in the lie, they live on the lie, they live within the lie and they keep growing with this lie. They teach it to their children. They educate their children to grow hating the black color. These things, when it happens within them, there is no problem. There is nothing wrong with it. But when we want to educate our own people and let them know that what they are despising, they despise us, but we are more. We are more than them and that's why they despise us. They know they cannot get to us. They know they cannot accept that part of them. That's why they are trying to act as if it's not existing. They are trying to act as if it doesn't matter. Why? It is the essence of life. So whenever we teach it to ourselves, we, we educate ourselves, we come out to talk to ourselves publicly, it becomes a problem. They see something wrong with it. And they say it's race to the season. They begin to look for things to tag you. And they say this, they say that, just to do what? To suppress us as they have been, because that is what they are good at. And just imagine what comes out of their head, the reasoning they have in their minds already. That the black is always weak, the black, the black is devilish, the black is poor, the black is not good. But the, the good one, anything that is positive is them. The negativity is us. Just to tell you that these things are things that they teach their children. It is not hidden, I tell you. For that clip, there was a clip I brought up here. That clip that they were doing, they were deleting our ancestors and they brought their children with them because they want their children to get to see how they're doing it so they could keep doing it. I keep saying this. When I saw that, I asked myself, what kind of persons are these? That was where I got to know that the level of which the hate is between these people and us is so deep that a lot of us are not seeing it. We are not seeing it. We think oh, we are human beings, irrespective of uh, color, a race, and whatever. We, we do not see color, we do not see whatever you are. Huh? They keep saying that. It's all deceive. They are just deceiving us. All is deception. The real thing is what happens in our societies every day that we see how we are, how we are being treated and the rest of them. It is only in Africa. It's only within the black people that someone of color comes and feels at home. They will tell you, oh, you're welcome, feel at home. They will give you every hospitality that is there to give. But when it is the turn of the African to go out, when the African go out, a black person goes out, the, the discrimination is so glaring that sometimes I keep asking myself, some persons that live alone in the midst of this person, I keep asking, how do you survive? How do you cope with people that have that are like this, how do you cope with them? The fact still remains that black is the essence of life. Black is the essence of humanity. Black is beautiful, black is gold. Never you see yourself as someone who is inferior in the society. Walk and do your work, whatever you do, walk and work with that dignity that you are. That is who you are.
enough of all this shine away bowing down oh i can't do this because i'm not this car i'm not white i can't do this because i'm not they know the power that is within us they know the power that is within us they know the power that we have within and i can say boldly that we are powerful beyond measure we only have to see beyond what we see beyond what they show us beyond what they want us to think or feel then we get to know the game plan what is underneath cooking thank you so much for watching leave your comment and thought there the section and i'll see you in my next one until then love yourself love others stay safe stay positive bye for now